I doubt Hank has ever mentioned my father. Why would he? Elias Starr. They were colleagues at S.H.I.E.L.D. Quantum research. Until my father dared disagree with the great Hank Pym, who had him fired. Oh, and discredited for good measure. My father tried to continue his research on his own. Desperate to restore his name, so he took risks. Too many. Until something went wrong. He told us to run. I could tell he was scared. I didn't want him to be alone. When I woke up, my parents were dead. I wasn't so lucky. They call it molecular disequilibrium. A rather dull name, I think. Doesn't quite do justice to what it means. Every cell in my body is torn apart and stitched back together. Over and over. Every day. I was still at S.H.I.E.L.D. when I got the call about a quantum anomaly in Argentina. Hello, Ava. My name's Bill. I was a friend of your father's. I brought you something. It's all right. Try again. That's it. Dr. Foster did his best to keep me safe. But others at S.H.I.E.L.D. saw an opportunity in my affliction. They built me a containment suit so I could control my phasing. And trained me to be a stealth operative. They weaponized me. I stole for them, spied for them. I killed for them. And in exchange for my soul, they were going to cure me. They lied. When S.H.I.E.L.D. collapsed, I took Ava in. I built the chamber to slow her decay, but her condition was progressive. I didn't know how to cure her. She wanted to kill you, Hank, but I told her no, and that she should watch you instead. And sure enough, she discovered that you were building the tunnel. Then she told me about Lang, and the message from Janet inside his head. Christ's sake! That's me. I'm sorry. Can you tell me who's texting me?